Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Project title is Mitigating Distributed Danilop Service Attacks in Multi-Party Applications in the Presence of Clack Tips. This project coming under the domain Secure Computing. Now going to domain explanation. Secure Computing. Secure Computing is developed for computer security and protect user data from the hackers during the transmission. It is a branch of computer technology known as information security as applied to computers and networks. It's a unique and flexible policy and rule definition allow product contact to be managed securely with minimal human invention. Now going to briefly explain the project. This is a network based application. While transferring a file from client to server, attackers may hack the file. So when going to transfer a file or data, port number will change dynamically. That is used to protect the file from hackers. Here hopping period align and adjust algorithm is used for multi-party applications. By proposing this algorithm for each application server to communicate with multiple clients in a port hopping manner without the use of group synchronization. With the synchronization issue, our goal in this work are to support the port hopping in the presence of timing uncertainty, implying the values can be very arbitrarily. In multi-party communication, order to deal with hopping in trip trades to enable multi-party communication with port hopping with many clients. Now going to explain data flow diagram. In first, we have to connect client and server. In contact initiation part, enable the client to initiate the contact with server having well known port. After that, we have to generate the port dynamically. To generate dynamic port by using sudo random function. Then select dynamic port to communicate. When select dynamic port to communicate, request to initiate the server. Before going to initiate, we have to start a server. Now contact initiation message is sent to server. Server receive the dynamic port initiation time and timestamp. After sending initiation, client waiting for acknowledgement in particular timestamp. When the timestamp is exceed, server port is closed. Otherwise, it wait for getting the acknowledgement. In next stage, client send the data to the server. By using hopping period align and adjust algorithm is used to send the application data. In Hopera algorithm, data are sent dynamic port according to the particular time interval. Finally, it will be received by a receiver side. Here we investigate application level protection for supporting a port hopping in the presence of timing of uncertainty and communication. Now going to project demo. Before going to run a program, we must install a NetBeans. After that, we have to start a NetBeans. Here we have to open our project from source file. These are the modules present in our project. First we have to run a server side program. Then we have to run a client side program. Here first we have to generate the dynamic port by using sudo random function. Here we have to generate the dynamic port. Here we have to select any one port to initiate the server. In our project we have two main part. First one is the contact initiation and next one is the data transmission part. Before going to contact initiation we have to start a server. Here server is ready to receive a file. Then we have to request the server to initiate the contact between client and server. 
now request is sent to a server here server receive which port we have to communicate and initiation time and timestamp here timestamp is used to provide a time interval here timestamp is 6000 millisecond when client initiate to the server it wait for acknowledgement now client waiting for a reply message from a server here client get, did not get any reply message from the server so the time is exit so server get disconnected so we have again we have to run a client and server side program Then we have to generate a dynamic port. Select dynamic port. Communicate here. Server is ready to receive a file. Client request to initiate the server. Client waiting for a reply message from the server. Here send acknowledgement. Here server is send acknowledgement within a time period. So we have to send the application data to a server by using Opera algorithm. Now we have to send the application data using Opera algorithm. In Opera algorithm, we have to send a file in dynamic port. Now the data is sent 1378 port. It having a current period is this and it have an next period is this so the data will be sent in only this time period the time is exceed so the data is and then next port here the data is sent in next port this is the next port to send a file this is the current period for this data and this is the next period for this port when this time is exceed it have to send the next port now the data is sent through a next port here this port time is exceed so it will be sent through another port Finally, the data is reached to the server. Here, server is ready to receive a file. This is the same process is repeated for a multi-party communication. Main motive of this project is we investigate application level protection against the attacks. Put hopping in investigator in the presence of timing and for enabling the multi-party communication. Main conclusion of this project is here we have to achieve a possible employee the put hopping method in multi-party application in a scalable way. Adversary to latch a direct attack to the application's port after eavesdropping is minimized. Thank you.